Hi, I welcome you all to Maths Tribe. This is part 2 of lesson number 2 of Trigonometry Tutorial Series. In the previous part, I discussed about the quadrant rule for trigonometric value conversions and I'll be doing two example questions here. And now this is the first example. Now how to simplify this? Now before we start to simplify this, the best way to do is just uh, we can find the sine 150 cos minus 60s tan 350 degrees and uh, tan 315 degrees and sine square 135 degrees separately so that will be more convenient now let's say sine 150 degrees sine 150 degrees we can write sine 180 minus 30 degrees which is now sine 180 minus theta is plus sine theta so sine 180 minus theta means sine 180 minus 30 means plus sine 30 which is half now if you consider cos minus 60 degrees now if you remember cos minus theta is plus cos theta so cos minus 60 degrees means plus cos 60 degrees which is half now if you consider tan 315 degrees equals tan 360 minus 45 degrees if you remember tan 360 degrees minus theta means plus tan theta so it is uh, plus tan 45 degrees which is tan 45 is 1 now finally sine 135 degrees which we can write sine 180 minus 45 degrees which is so sine 180 minus theta is plus sine theta as i said before even now that means this is sine 100 and i'm sorry sine 45 degrees straight away 45 degrees 180 minus theta is uh, sine theta which is 1 over root 2 so we can substitute these values here to find and sim simplify and find the value of this uh, trigonometric expression now now if you know sine 150 degrees is half and uh, cos minus 60 is half minus uh, tan 315 degrees is 1 and sine square 135 degrees is 1 over root 2 is uh, complete square which is 1 over 4 minus 1 over root 2 square is half and 1 is just 1 so it is 1 over 2 and common denominator taken so it is 1 minus 2 so we get the answer minus 1 over 4 now move into the next example which will have much to simplify now if a student asks whether he can simplify this straight away inside here so of course you can but at the beginning i recommend just uh, if you can find these values separately and later you substitute accuracy may increase and uh, it may be more convenient for you so now i'll be finding these values separately now uh, cosec 210 degrees instead of finding cosec 210 degrees cosec means reciprocal of sine so i'll be finding sine 210 degrees sine 210 degrees is uh, sine 180 plus 30 degrees which is uh, now sin, sin 180 plus theta means minus sin theta so sin 180 plus 30 means minus sin 30 degrees which is minus half but we need cosec 210 degrees which means the reciprocal of sin 210 cosec 210 degrees will be minus 2 so this is what we need okay now uh, when moving on to sec 225 degrees 
Now, instead of finding sec, sec means reciprocal of cos. So, I'll be finding cos 225 degrees, which is cos 180 plus 45 degrees, which is now cos 180 plus theta means minus cos theta. So, cos 180 plus 45 means minus cos 45, which is minus 1 over root 2. But we have to find sec 225 degrees not cos 225 degrees so we are taking the reciprocal sec 225 degrees is reciprocal of minus 1 no root 2 which is minus root 2 now moving on to cot 600 instead of finding cot 600 i'll be finding tan 600 tan 600 is uh, tan 360 plus 240 degrees now tan 360 plus theta is plus tan theta so this tan 360 plus 240 means plus tan 240 degrees and tan 240 degrees we can write again tan 180 plus 60 degrees tan 180 plus theta means plus tan theta because this is third quadrant 180 plus theta so this will be plus tan 60 degrees which is root 3 by the way we are not finding tan 600 we are finding cot 600 so it is cot 600 will be uh, the reciprocal of root 3 which is uh, 1 over root 3 and uh, now moving on to sine minus uh, 135 degrees Now, sine minus 135 degrees means uh, now sine minus theta is minus sine theta. So, sine minus 135 degrees is minus sine 135 degrees, which is uh, minus sine 180 minus 45 degrees. And sine 180 minus theta means plus sine theta. So, sin 180 minus 45 means sin 45, by the way, but minus is in front, so it is minus sin 45 degrees, it, it is minus 1 over root 2. So, now the game is, the difficult part is over, so what we have to do is substitute these values into uh, this expression. Now, it is 4 root 3 and cosec 210 degrees is uh, minus 2 plus 2, 2 root 2 into sec 225 degrees means minus root 2 over minus 6 root 3 into cot 600 is 1 over root 3 plus 2 root 2 into sine minus 135 degrees is minus 1 over root 2 equals minus 8 root 3 uh, minus root 2 into my, uh, root 2 2 uh, minus 2 then minus 2 into 2 is minus 4 over root 3 root 3 cancels of this is minus 6 and root 2 root 2 cancels minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 so answer is now 8 root minus 8 root 3 minus 4 over minus 8 dividing up and down by minus 4 minus 8 root 3 divided by minus 4 it is plus 2 root 3 and minus 4 divided by minus 4 plus 1 and minus 8 divided by minus 4 is plus 2 so this will be the answer and my two examples are over if you want to master it i'm saying again and again you must practice more trigonometric questions so my base is my basic process is just uh, to cover complete theory guide while uh, giving some example questions to uh, make sure that you understand all those theories so practice more questions which makes you perfect see you on the next lesson goodbye